Hello world. This is a quick little video I wanted to do. Um, I was looking at, because I use Sensor Tower to kind of get it, to kind of gauge um, maybe what apps to make, because I'm trying to make apps that are profitable so I can pay the bills. Um, so, so I'm going to go over today this app, which is my app, and look at what Sensor Data, Sensor Tower Data says about it and compare it to App Store Connect now that I've had it out for a month being monetized. So um, definitely have to compare this more once I get more apps out and hopefully start seeing apps that are profitable. <laughs> um, but here's here's one that I can now test. So on Sensor Tower's website, it says revenue worldwide last month. You hover over this, it says store revenue only. So they don't track like ad revenue, which I don't put ads in my app just because I don't want a bunch of third party crap code. I have all my own crap code in there. Um, so, and it says I made $5,000 last month, which would have been July. This is August 2nd. And I had less than 5,000 downloads. These are the top countries, which I don't. We'll, we'll check. I don't think that's accurate. Um, they've got the correct name, uh, icon. Looks like the app store description and pricing are correct. Screenshots are correct. It looks pretty on, you know, accurate. So now the question is, is this accurate? $5,000. So we'll go to app store connect. And oh, that's another point. This is $5,000 in sales, not proceeds. So we go to app store connect. And you can see I made $4,420 $420 last month. It's a huge like uptick in sales, but I only had this monetized for like the last week of June, so that's why. Uh, that's pretty good. Obviously, that's not 5000 so if you go here, and if we go 4420 and we go plus the microphone's hiding the keys. Uh, plus um, one. Say it one twelve percent. See if I do my math right. Nope. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll do five thousand. Oh, that's why. I think you do it times. Anyway, yeah, I usually use a normal calculator. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, what are we going to do? 1 minus 12%. There you go. So that's roughly 12% difference. Um, go to that. Select all. Quit. Delete. So you can say 12% is what we're getting in the difference. So that's pretty accurate. Um, and again, this is sales. So you also have to go look at proceeds. And that's the proceeds. So under 4,000 of proceeds. And that's in theory what I'll get, but on top of that, you also have to do add effects. No. <laughs> um, on top of that, you also will get little differences. Like if you go to reports here and you go to here, um, do, 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 do. I thought it said. Yeah, maybe I'm not seeing a create report. Anywho, it says somewhere uh, there that you know this is there's other like you're selling in different countries. There's going to be exchange rate differences or this or that. So proceeds is not 100% accurate as well. You are going to get a little bit more, a little bit less. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's the month of July in sales and there is you can see 2d dash and 1d dash some of my games but less than a dollar a piece so really the m majority of the money came from uh the yearly subscription so there's yearly and weekly um yeah you know almost four thousand dollars in yearly sales subscriptions for the month of july so Hopefully that's useful when you're looking at Sensor Tower and you're seeing an app and you're like, wow, 5K. That's the sales number, so you got to subtract 15 to 30 percent, whatever Apple's taking. Um, and then you also need to figure in a few other things. So just, yeah, when you're bouncing around here, 
that's something to think about. Another thing to think about is I think this website's still useful with uh, this tool as well, Sensor Tower. So, or not Sensor Tower, I was on Sensor Tower. Use Astro with Sensor Tower and then, you know, subtract 12%. Also, I'll play around with this more and see if it's more accurate or less accurate as I continue. But I would say, you know, maybe 12 to 20%, subtract that from whatever you see on Sensor Tower and then. On top of that, you got to look at proceeds over sales, so 15 to 30 uh, percent, depending on however they do that now these days. Um, but yeah, the sensor sensor tower mixed with Astro, this little Astro app, and then you can do keyword research, and that's what the name of the app is, and it ranks number one. So it's not ranking. I mean, it's not too bad on these other ones either. So. That's the tools I'm using, and this is now uh, some data on how accurate those tools might be. So far, it's working out okay. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these videos. I'm sorry if I was just stumbling, but I wanted to update this because of the type of video I've wanted to see in a while. I'm like, is this useful information? And now I kind of have a general idea. Hopefully I'll make a little more this month and see if it changes. But anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Where's the stop button? Ta-ta.